in the past couple of years, we've seen the introduction and the rise of uh, Pandora and Spotify and uh, this uh, streaming uh, media that uh, some people feel poses a threat to jazz radio. What are your thoughts on that, Thurston? Well, I think it's a... Of course, I come with data. Uh, Good. <laughs> because, <laughs> Great. Because, you know, I, and I, I, I say that because I kind of make fun of myself, but I think that we spend a lot of time <clears throat> guessing. And my entire approach in the last two to three years is to stop guessing, stop assuming, and get the data. So, again, the Jacobs Media guys did a public radio survey, a tech survey, you know, um, and then I got a hold of another friend who, who, uh, who's a researcher uh, and all. They're, they're threats in our mind because we let them be a threat. If you take a look, I mean, the, the difference between the difference between the percentage of people that are visiting those places is there's still a big gap. That's that's there, and um, the how we can continue to quote win the game is to not be a jukebox. Hey, you know what, Brett? Let me jump in here and ask Thurston a question regarding that, and that is that the difference between what we do and what Pandora and Spotify and those other services do is that we have an ability and a mission to provide a certain amount of information that they don't. And so my question to you would be, uh, is, shouldn't we posture ourselves as an alternative in terms of here is the place where you're going to get not an over amount of, but here's a place where you're going to get a certain amount of insight into what you're listening to as opposed to a simple readout of what you're listening to. Uh, yeah, but I wouldn't beat him over the head with it. I mean, No, 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 no there's a delicate no, no, I, I didn't say you said that. Just let me okay. have my perspective here. <laughs> All right. You know, yes, you're right. And that was my point, I think. But you, you mean because uh, I was reading some other stuff. You need to make sure that you are engaging your communities, your your music community, your listening community, you need to do that, you know. Yeah. But again, it doesn't matter whether you're doing it or not if you go too long. Right. Yeah. You've got to, you've got to be, you have to, you know, you have to, you're a writer, you've got to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. That's a Make delicate your balance. Points. You know, good point. Now, the other thing that I say along with that, you know, because some people like going to those and they get it and, you know, and that's all. I'm not condemning those people. I'm just saying that we can't let them define us. We have to do the best we can at what we do. And you need to learn again, what do your listeners want? Where do they want to hear it? You know, the, the, the jazz bee at WBGO, based on the, the quilting bees and things like that, where people gather together for a purpose, they're playing black, uh, uh, black radio, Robert Glasper. When, mm -hmm. he, when he went out there on David Letterman and Jay Leno during that period of time between those two shows, we featured Robert Glasper on the Jazz B regularly. Yeah, you know uh, why? <clears throat> because we were trying to. It was it was a marketing thing. You got to. I, I, I was born. I was born under uh, a Barnum and Bailey cloud. You know. I believe in marketing and promoting as much as you can. And so if you're telling folks you know, what you're doing, you're giving them that information, then you can start selling them on your blog. Because if that's the things you used to say on the air, that's really too much to say because your listener's time span is, oh, let me go see what's going on over there because they're going to go someplace else. If you, if you direct folks to a blog or you write that stuff, you can tell them all the stuff you used to tell them in four or five minutes in a blog. But yep. yes, but yes, you know the Pandoras and all. People want a warm and fuzzy there someplace. They want to know. They want to know, is the world still here? What's the traffic? What's the weather? 
you know, uh, what's going on around me, you know. Now, the, the streams are a little bit different in that way, in the way that, that the, the, the BGO stream, the, the Jazz was, was 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 created, was to keep in mind Try to stay two weeks ahead. It's a Mark Ruffin. It's a Mark Ruffin model. I, I hang out with Mark a lot, you know. And <laughs> so you to let folks know you're playing the artists who are in the New York City area or who are performing at that given time. 